what we have discussed is what are the types of networks lan man wan based on which factor you are dividing that geographical base yeah based on the geographical areas so what is the range of your local area network within 1 km range less than 1 km range 1 km less than 1 km and metropolitan greater than 1 km less than 100 km yeah so in some books they will be mentioning it like uh, what they do is like 1 km from some places 1 km to 10 km is man and they would be dividing your van in some places so according to some people they divide like this so if it is less than 100 km they call it as a van and if it is greater than 100 km they call it as internet getting my point so few people have divided it but as per the standard there are definitions in the books it's like this 1 km less than 1 km radius it's local area network if it is less than 100 km but greater than 1 km it's metropolitan area and anything greater than 100 km you call it as band okay so today we are going to see about a most important okay. which is osi reference model So before coming to this OSI reference model, I would recommend you to mute your volumes or at least maintain the silence, please. Okay. So today we will be discussing about the OSI model. Whenever you are attending any interview, for example, if you are facing the HR round, what could be your first question? Any idea about it? HR round. What is the first question that the HR asks you? tell me about yourself right so when you are when you are answering a technical round especially for the field of networking this osi model explain about osi model is like you are tell me about yourself you know how important is tell me about yourself it's very important question right the basic question tell me about yourself the hr will understand how much you are capable of being in the job correct They analyze everything in the same way. The way you express about OSI layer or OSI reference model will help them to understand your knowledge in the networking field. So this is a basic question. Which whether you have three years of experience, one year of experience, or a fresher, till the point of four years experience age groups, I mean from fresher to four years age group experience age groups. this question is the first and most default question for any network engineer whether you go for the system administration job whether you go for the cloud computing whether you go for the any interview job this is the most basic question for sure which you are going to face for the technical round okay so before starting with osi reference model <clears throat> i would like to ask you like uh, I men what is this osi why do we need it and what made people to start with this osi how many of you heard the name called osi reference model uh, anyone heard about it oh uh, osi is nothing but open system interconnection okay okay so what do you know about it so it has six layers six layers okay hardware software and core layer hardware software and core still mm okay. that's also so okay let me say you like uh, let me say why osi is needed first then we'll move on to what is osi and what are the layers in it okay and actually it is not six layers it is having total of seven layers okay i'll discuss about it don't worry so when the computer manufacturer started when you a computer era has started everyone now let's take i mean just for example i'm saying like let's take there is a computer with a dell configuration i mean it manufactured by dell and other with acer just for example now there are various ways to communicate right now for example if you take our languages how human speaks 
Now, if you are in Andhra, we speak like all Andhra people and Telangana people will speak Telugu. Correct? Of course, most of them. Not all, but most of them. Am I right? Now, when we go out, when we go out of AP, and let's enter now into Tamil Nadu now. Let's take example as Tamil Nadu. So from AP or Telangana, if you are entering into Tamil Nadu, do you think your Telugu language will help? No. No. There you need something called like why is not why it is not supportive? Why can't Telugu language help you in Tamil Nadu? Tamil Nadu people can't understand Telugu, right? Exactly. So in the beginning of the computer eras, when your networking was in the initial stages, everyone came out with their own protocols. With their own protocols. Like for example, now what is a protocol first? Let me brief you about the term, then I'll move to the other one. one protocol. What is their own protocols at all? What is the protocol? Set of instructions. Yeah. Where do you hear this word protocol? Where have you heard about this protocol? Networking. networking. Is it only networking? No. It's a government no. protocol. It's a? Secure. Yeah, government people will follow protocols some um, according to the exactly exactly. See, protocol is not only related. The word is not related to just networking. It is saying it, protocol is nothing but a set of instructions. Now, for example, to perform a task, now let's assume a ministry is coming. The protocols followed. The rules followed by the police department and other departments will be different. If chief ministry is coming, those are different. Rules are different. And when prime minister is coming, the rules are different, correct? Based on the application, the protocol is being changed. Am I right? right? So in the same way, for the computers to communicate, for the two computers to communicate, you need to say how many rules. Who is this? A small kid joined our group, I guess. Started playing with the system. It's not for kids, guys. Okay. When two computers wants to communicate, now let's say, now we are all sitting in the class, correct? So, do we have any rules? Do we have any protocols? Even ours is also a network, right? Our classroom is also a network. Am I correct? Either it's your engineering college classroom or any other classroom, it's a network. But it's there are no computers, but there are people. So what are the rules to be followed in the classroom? Or protocols are to be followed? Silence, discipline, etc. Only that? Attended to what it's now there are many factors now let me start saying you once i finish this the same thing will be implemented in the computers also first thing is my application correct where is the class being held now for example if the same classroom i mean the same training if it is going on in your college then the rules are different am i right i need a projector i need a system i need a marker Okay, and people, place to people to sit and all those. If this is an online class, you can sit anywhere. The rules are different. Am I right? Yeah. So my application, based on the application, my protocol is different. Getting my point? And next thing is coming to the presentation. To have a class, Though we don't consider all this, these are all needed. Now coming to presentation. Now presentation, how I'm writing it, how I'm displaying it, I'm writing it in slides. There are many options. Am I playing a video or am I just talking orally or is it an, how I'm, is it an interactive session? That how I'm presenting it, how much data I'm giving. Though I know how like uh, being four years or five years in the networking field, I know a lot many things. But how much exactly you need, I need to present it to you. Correct. Are you getting my point? So presentation rules are also there, presentation protocols. 
so i can't go come or uh, stay in the class and talk directly about the programming related to the networking i need to talk about what is networking then followed by next two things correct how i need to present and how need to do the sessions are you getting my point yes sir next third thing is the session timings session timings now i can't say that i will sit down at night 12 o'clock and start the session or you can say that sir i am free now at 3 o'clock you take me a class we need to have a mutual time a fixed time slot where both of us are available so that we can start the session getting the point so this is also a rule right i need to follow this protocol what session is 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 when what the session timing sir i need to follow it that is also a protocol i need to start at 8 o'clock i need to end at 9 o'clock if the time is extending i need to take the consent of everyone and then take the extension correct there are protocols for the timing also am i right yes sir so this i am not talking technically i am talking very generally about the classroom i will correlate how this is related to the technical what i am going to say next okay next thing is the fourth important task transport now oh, see i i did not touch the technical still i am talking about the classrooms so here i am looking for the acknowledgments correct so now let's assume i am talking very fast i am talking very fast will it be a good session no i am talking too slow very slowly i am taking the class will it be a good session no so i need to maintain particular rate of speech correct that means i need to talk at a speed which everyone can understand that's the first thing and my voice should be audible to everyone correct if there were technical issues in the first day of class you might have seen few people are reported that uh, like they were unable to listen the class and all those that means i need to get the acknowledgments from you whether you are listening or not then only it could be a good communication am i right getting my point guys around or left session so to have a good sessions it should be an interactive now for the same case if i am doing a youtube video do i need an interactive session there i'm just making a video and leaving it off no so what happens if i have an interactive session there is there any possibility no see this acknowledgments whether i need it or not are based on my application getting the point so now if i'm doing it as a youtube video i don't need an acknowledgment if i'm doing it as a live session like how i'm doing it okay then i need an acknowledgement next thing is like transportation is like movement from my place let's assume for now let's assume that because it's all into networking let's assume i'm coming to a college and teaching you okay now to reach your college will your college bus or your city bus come directly in front of your house and leave you in the college let's assume that city bus concept itself when it come directly to your house and pick you up or you need to go to the bus stand we need to go we need to go to the bus stand and you need to select your route you may be having multiple routes to reach a point now for example from i'm staying in high tech city and if i want to reach to secunderabad i have multiple routes i can go to kukatpally from there amirpet and then secunderabad or i can go to mehdi patnam correct multiple routes so i need to select a best route to reach my point once i reach my point i need to have the house number or door number of that particular point so that i can exactly reach to my house correct is there any identity mark 
it can be a door number or college name or house name whatever it is which is unique getting the point clear yes sir then i need to have proper have the all the information but if i don't have roads or like now for example i wanted to go to a metro i need to have a physical medium i need to have a physical medium also now that is like your roads or either metro or whatever you medium you have selected if any one of this is missing my concept of having the class in a classroom will be failed correct am i correct yes so now is it there are lot many now in a application also there are lot many things which i need to consider now if you say that if i want to take a class instead of online in offline mode i need to, our matching timing will not match because i will work in the morning in the office and come back in the evening so i won't be available to take the classes in the day sessions in the evening sessions you will be in a different locations so sitting in one classroom and taking the class is difficult so to take to judge my application i need to have lot many factors to be considered same way to select my way of presentation lot many factors so there will be multiple protocols involved so which point you have missed through like you want a complete explanation okay let me just quick quickly go through it. now let's take it let i am taking an example of classroom environment to understand the osi reference model so first thing is like i need to have proper application mean where i am teaching how i am teaching i mean where i am teaching especially the application i can teach online i can teach offline and all those but my application is a matters so based on the application i need to maintain my presentation how i am teaching it what information i am giving it either it's through slides or whatever it is then timing factors session factors okay like 8 to 9 or 9 to 10 if what if the time has been extended what if time has been reduced what if there is a class postponement i need to have protocols for everything and then i need to get the acknowledgments what should i do if i don't get acknowledgement what should i do if i get acknowledgement in which case i need to take an acknowledgement and at what speeds i need to talk at what speed voice i need to uh, take the classes all those comes under the different different protocols then to reach my destination which route is the best one and how can i go there so now i'm staying here and i want to go to some xyz place so i may be having multiple paths so how can i go to that one particular point in that point how can i exactly reach the my destination so now if i'm traveling from here to wizak okay i can't just say that like i can't ask the door number in a wizak snow for example there is some door number called 10-1 let's assume in wizak so i can't search for 10-1 or ask anyone for 10-1 from here itself correct i can't ask my bus driver to drop me at 10-1 i need to ask him to drop me at wizak correct after reaching wizak i can ask a auto person there to drop me at 10-1 so that's what these two points are one is like route selection how i am going to wizak either is it through flight or through railways or through bus or through my own transportation so for everything you have calculations so that is comes under your route selection and door number how you are reaching once you reach wizak city how you are going to particular door number is it through ola cabs or is it through what do you say your share auto or auto or any bike or your colleagues or friends or family members getting a vehicle or how is it to happen all this for you to reach and take a class in wizak you need to have a physical path that is roads or railways or whatever the way you choose correct getting the points yes sir yeah so if any one of these things are missed now if you see to take a class whatever are required are in this seven points itself either it 
whether I say it or not, they'll be definitely in this points itself. Do you think anything other than this is required? Other than these set of protocols, anything is required? Up to my knowledge, I don't think so. Whatever the rules required to take a class will come into this layers itself. Will come into this task itself. Correct? So in the same way, now to deliver a message or a class in one particular point, I have to have these many of rules. In the same way for the systems to communicate all the rules or protocols are defined by your OSI reference model. All the rules, I mean, now for the system A to send the data to system B, what rules it has to follow, what protocols it has to follow, everything is defined by your OSI reference model. Okay. So why do we need OSI reference model? The simple example is like you have, you only said it. Now in two different places, the way you communicate, the way you speak, the way you write is everything different. So we need a global language which everyone can understand. That's where we made Hindi as our national language because most people speak it. But when I go outside the India, I can't speak Hindi. Because everyone may not know it. That's where you start speaking English, a common language. Correct? Yes. In the same way, when your computer started this networking and all, everyone had their own protocol. So now if I have a Dell PC and I want to send a mail to a, my friend who is having Acer PC, they were both using different languages. So the communication was problem. So Dell PCs can communicate with Dell PCs. Acer PCs can communicate with Acer PCs. There was no globalization. That is, there is no intercommunication between two different vendor computers. In simple terms, I can say there won't be, there is no communication between different network manufacturers, two different manufacturers or two, two systems which are following different protocols. So that is where you were ISO. How many of you heard about ISO? Might have seen ISO standard. International standard. Yeah, International Standard Organization. Standard Organization. Organization. Yeah. So what ISO has done? What ISO does? So Acer is just a brand name. That's it. Company computers brand name like Dell. So what ISO do? What is the function of ISO? They set standards. They set standards, right? So they have set a standard for communication called OSI. Okay. The communication standard, the name as OSI. Now your OSI is designed by your ISO. So people call this model as ISO OSI model or simply OSI reference model. See the name, name is itself something saying to you it itself is saying that it's a reference model it's just a reference okay OSI model is not being implemented in your real time but it is used as a reference okay getting the point then why why should we learn which is not being implemented when it is just acting as a reference, why should we learn? And why is it more important? Yeah, it's a basic point. It's not a basic, a basic point. model to audit. No, no. Helps in trouble. Sorry? Helps in troubleshooting. Helps in troubleshooting. It's not even used. Then how can you help? How can it help in troubleshooting? It is not even being used. Correct. How can it help in troubleshooting? In simple terms, we can say that 
all the different communication models, if you take your Apple phones, if they communicate with only Apple phones, correct, without any third party tools, there is no communication, direct communication between Apple and Android phone, correct? Because Apple uses different network protocols called Apple Talk. Whereas Android uses your TCP IP model. So whichever the devices that are being used to TCP IP model can communicate among themselves. And Apple Talk, they can communicate among themselves. As they both followed, I mean, Apple Talk and TCP IP followed the references given by OSI. You can enable the intercommunication between them using third party apps. If it has not followed the standards mentioned by your OSI or it has not taken the reference of OSI reference model and created their own, then this communication is not possible between Apple and your Android, even using the third party tools. Getting the point? Sir, third party tools means? No, for example, you can say it has like something like share it or your Bluetooth. Your Share, share it is a third party app, right? It is not coming with the Android OS or Apple OS. You are installing, you have designed it based on the separate software. Okay. Okay. So without that, you can't directly share between your Apple phone and Android phone because the communication protocol in Apple is Apple Talk. Whereas in Android, it is TCP IP. Both are different. But there is one tool or one software that is helping you to convert this standard to this standard. Now, if Apple Talk has not followed the reference of your OSI and designed its own, then designing this particular tool will be very complex and almost impossible even as of now. Clear? So that is where it's like your, now for example, in India, if you take, there is Sanskrit language, all of our languages are being derived from Sanskrit. Correct? Either you take Telugu or Hindi or whatever the languages we have, Bengali or whatever the Indian languages you have, most of them are derived from Sanskrit. If there is no Sanskrit, these languages are not there. Correct? Okay. The same way the OSA reference model. It's like Sanskrit for the networking. Okay. Okay. So what people of international standard organization that is ISO has done is all the communication that is required from system A to system B or from one point to other point. Now I want to send the data from system A to system B. Whatever the tasks are involved. Guys, in 10 minutes the session will end. Again, I'll restart. Get ready to join again. Okay, sir. Okay. So now when the data is transmitting from system A to system B, Whatever the tasks required to send, because computers are also robots. How many of you watched a robot movie? So initially, every instruction must be given with to it very clearly, right? In the movie, if you are giving a wrong instruction, it won't follow it properly. Do you remember the scene of the TV breaking? Yes, sir. A small instruction there. So how you can imagine how complex the communication will be. A small is giving a small wrong wrong instruction. I did not now for example, let's take I want to send data from system A to system B. Okay. I did not say my computer to take acknowledgements. Will it send the data? As a network admin, I did not ask my system A to take acknowledgements of the data sent. Well, it sent the, in system A, it sent the data to system B or not? No, sir. How many of you say no? Two persons. How many of you say yes? How many of you say yes? So how many of you say don't know? Okay, good. At least you are accepting that. Now here, I am not I'm just saying it not to take acknowledgements. I did not ask it to not to send data. So it will send the data. 
but will not take the acknowledgements. So due to this, I will not understand whether the data has been sent to system. Received or not. Yeah. Our data is sent, but I will not understand. Now, if you assume in WhatsApp, you don't have blue tick marks, what will be your conditions? You need to wait, right? Whether the person has seen, if you assume the world once when the WhatsApp has started, it has came with only a single tick mark. Correct. Later they have developed to dual tick marks. Then they are converted to blue tick marks. So now, when you don't have this tick marks concept, when you send a message, will you get any acknowledgement? Until unless no. the person says you, you won't get their acknowledgement. So the functionality will change. Now, for example, when you are browsing your internet, now let's say I am browsing the google.com. Let me show you. Or let's take we are browsing my website. Okay. So do you understand will there, is there any packet drop here or something like that? Will you come to know whether there is a packet drop or something like this? Data missed or something like that. Will you understand it? You won't get to know because at the back end, between the server which is having the Hawkeye Techworks <coughs> pages and your system will share the acknowledgements. If there is something missing, they will share the acknowledgements. Yeah, any questions, guys? Two people have raised their hands. Yes, Sri Lanka, what is the question? You can unmute and ask Sri Lanka. And there is one more person, Qcom. Can you explain this acknowledgement concept? Yeah. Just now you have opened one window. No? Yeah. See, now when I opened this window, my I'm loading my web page. Correct. Can you identify if there is any data loss in this package? Now let's assume that there are this entire web page has thousand bits of information. If even one bit is lost, there will be drawback in the website. Correct. That part will be missing. So is it known to you? No, sir. Can you assure that in between there was no packet loss or no data loss? Mm -hmm. So that means at the back end, my particular system and the server which is having these web pages are sending the acknowledgements. So for every bit or for every five bits, now I have received five bits. I have received the second set of five bits. Okay. okay. So that is what. So acknowledge every small aspect is needed and need to be set very detailed. So all these points have detailedly defined in seven different layers. Seven different layers. So the first layer, or we call it from top to bottom model. We talk from top to bottom. So the, the seventh layer, we use seventh layer first. Which you call as application layer. Application. application. Okay. No. Then the sixth layer, which the is presentation. Presentation. Next. Section. It's not section. It is session. Session. Is session layer. Then followed by your acknowledgements and everything is taken care of by your transport. transport. Followed by layer three, that is network layer. Network layer. And your door numbers batch is like your data link layer. Data link. Yeah. And the first one is like your physical. physical. See the top three layers application, presentation, and session. You call them as upper layers or software layers. Sorry, upper layers or software layers. And these bottom four, you consider them as 
lower layers or network layers why do you think these two I mean this is called as software layers and why do you think the bottom layers are mentioned as network layers you remember this question at the end of osi you need to answer me you need to give me the answer okay so why do we call the question is why do we call application presentation and session as software layers and why do we call transport network data link and physical layers as network layers okay so now i'll just brief about this top three layers in this two minutes then we'll end the session and start back immediately and go with the <coughs> transport layer <coughs> application layer the layer's responsibility is to define protocols to access the data define protocols to the access i mean sorry for the data to access the network sorry define protocols for the data to access your network now i want to access my web pages then i'll use a protocol called http and www correct so both is a data it's only a binary format but based on the application my protocol is defined so now when i hit google.com or any web page which is a html request or web page request then application layer says you follow the html protocol sorry http protocol so application layer says the data I mean which protocol it has to follow based on the application clear clear guys any questions on this on this any questions yes please revert back if you don't have any questions also you can say it not a problem okay i'll just end the session here and start back and we'll go with the presentation session and all those join immediately please join immediately.